Hello friends, this is Sandra here from whimsydreamsclipart.com and woollyfire.com. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make a Valentine's card using Clipart and Canva. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this channel and find this tutorial helpful. It really helps the channel. Well, let's get started. First, we go to canva.com and I'm an affiliate, just so you know. You find a link down below in the description if you haven't got Canva yet. Everything that you need for this tutorial you find in the description below. We go to create a design and we search for card. We choose card portraits, 5 by 7 inches. First we go to elements and grids. This is to make the background of the card and color. You can just pick a color here to start out. You can always change the color later on to suit your specific style or taste. Now we go back to elements and grids and we make this a little bit smaller. We are going to place the wreath inside of this placeholder. Go to uploads and upload media. You find a wreath from the Romeo and Juliet pack uh, in the Whimsy Dreams clip art shop. You find the link down below in the description. You save your clip art on your computer and then you go to upload media and device. We are going to use number three for this design and click it. Make sure you are using a PNG because we need the background to be transparent. Then we drag it into the space holder and we are going to enlarge it. Now we go to text and we search for Valentine. And click this one. Place it in the middle of the wreath. First we go to the fonts here and choose another font. I want to use a uh, vintage style font for this design. We can search for vintage here. And here you find lots of different kinds of fonts that you can choose from. I like the bad horse. Let's see if we find it here. This is a font that is only available in the Canva Pro version. And now we change the color to brown. Super cute, isn't it? And then we place it so it looks nice in the design. Let's see if we find a free version as well. And we sh I chose Glass Antigua for this. This is for the free version. And now we're going to create the backside of the card. We go to duplicate page and we just erase everything or delete everything here except the background. And then we click on the background and go to color box and change it to brown. You find the document colors here. So then you can pick brown. Now we will add a little flourish. And you can choose one that you love. If you have the pro version, you will have more available graphics here, but there are in the free version as well. Can do something like this and change the color to the light one and then we go to text and add a little bit of body text and we, here we can write something you know a personal message or something something special i just came up with something here and then you can enlarge it like this and you can change the the font again. Make sure you center everything. Of course you can personalize this and write your own quote or poem or message here. This was just as an example. And of course you can change the text here as well. So always remember that you can change the colors or graphics or everything. Now we are going to print this. We go to file, show print bleed. 
just to make sure that we have the whole area covered with the background color. And now we go to download. Make sure you have PDF print activated. Crop marks and bleed checked and select pages, all pages. And this is how the final design or files looks like. If you're going to print this card at home, use double side printing options. Unfortunately, all the printers have different settings, so I cannot show you exactly how your printer function, but you can always find uh, settings and manuals online. I hope you really enjoy this tutorial and that you will create lots of beautiful Valentine's cards. If you like this channel, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you are into creating with Canva and you love tutorials and doing stuff like this, feel free to join the Facebook group as well. You find the link below in the description. And see you soon. Have fun. Bye bye.